So congrats to you guys for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, but speaking of hopeless romantics, I was just talking to Tyler about this. And um, when the trailer dropped, it kind of, uh, there were rumors out there that it was like the black notebook. <laughs> that's that's giving. <laughs> um, but upon watching the film, I feel like it touches on so, so much more. Yeah. Yes. It's love and drama within it. it yes. Does so much more. So tell me your guys, you guys' thoughts when you hear this film is giving the black notebook. Tell me your thoughts on that. I mean, like, I feel like for the, I will say, I feel like for the culture, like, I feel like we deserve a black period romance. Like, we don't really have that. So to see that kind of black romance and joy and, and, and get to experience that, that alone would have been nice. But this story is so much more layered than that. You know, it's so much more than just two people who fall in love and have to figure it out. This is two people who have to fall in love and figure it out in a world that they are constantly at risk in, where their lives are constantly on the line. And, and so, so yeah, it, it's, well, when people were saying that, I was like, well, hey, people, lo like, I, I love The Notebook, you know? I love that movie. We, yeah. we, we I, love you know, I don't, The I Notebook. I haven't watched a lot of romance movies. I've done a couple, <laughs> but I've, I love The Notebook. And I love when they say that, and I hope they go yeah. and watch it because it's also a setup. Yeah. You know, for people to get caught off guard. Yeah. And I love that in art, when people are caught off guard by what they didn't expect, yeah. you know? And I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot of there's a lot of elements in this film that people are gonna be like, oh my, oh my yeah. god. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I'm excited yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I couldn't agree more. I we love the notebook. We love the notebook. <laughs> yeah, it's but love this film gives so much more. And speaking yeah. of the elements, exactly what you said, and giving more, um, this film gave so much from of course love and romance to brotherhood sisterhood friendship racism colorism deep jim crow south yeah. all of mm -hmm. that yeah. it's it was a lot to take in but i feel like this film did it gracefully yeah so out of all those elements and components that are built into this film what's one that you guys want the audience to walk away with the most there's so much i know there's so much and I'm gonna tell you what Tyler said after, but I want to know what what's the one thing that you that you want audiences to take away. I think I want audiences to take away that they have more to learn about the people around them. I think that that they that in general, like we we ha barely any of us have done our due diligence to understand our neighbor. And I think that this, hopefully, this story gives a deeper understanding to an experience that people might not understand or allows people to feel seen within this story and within a period that we don't usually see ourselves. Yeah, echoing that, I'd, I'd say commonality and connection and how we are vastly more similar than dissimilar. And uh, hopefully that will help, you know, foster stronger and more healthy relationships amongst all of humanity. At least for the viewers, people yeah. who watch it anyways, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And yeah, and I think that we're in an era where we don't necessarily often try to relate to the person next to yeah. us. It's kind of just on a surface level, we'll try to relate, but not mm -hmm. to really know their right. backstory. Right. So uh, Tyler's answer to that was curiosity. He wants the people who don't know that much about that time period and, you know, passing and colorism mm -hmm. and things like that to watch this movie and be more curious about it. So my question um, responding to that is, in you guys' opinion, you guys really, really portrayed the issues of the time so well and so gracefully. Um, do you think those issues that your characters were dealing with at that time still have an effect on us today? I have my personal uh, opinion about it. Um, but I want to hear from you guys as someone who really portrayed and really uh, came across to us as the audience. Um, are those those issues that I just spoke about? Are they are they still affecting us today as a people? And this is you know within love, within friendship, with with just us as a people. Are those issues still affecting us today? In your opinion, one hundred and ten thousand percent. Yes, I, I think. The themes that that Tyler touches on in this in this movie resonate, I think, across the board with the lives that we live today. And from from the Leanne perspective, I think 
well, when I when I take this story and, and bring it to 2022, it's a matter of reckoning with your privilege. And the nuances of colorism are deeply, deeply complicated, but deeply real and not really talked about a lot. We don't have discussions about how to bridge these gaps a lot of the time. And so it, it, I think it appears in a different way and people pass in different ways today. But I think that it, it's a part of our story that is important to to talk about and, and know. Yeah, and I'd say like, yeah, none of it's new. None, none of those of issues new. are new. They all just have different clothes on. And, and mm -hmm. people want to disassociate because of the newness of the clothes when in actuality, like it's the same, same temperament, same body. And it's a body that we, you know, those the body being the issues that we need to destroy, we need to kill off and get rid of for us to be able to come closer together. Definitely, I agree. Thank you guys so much. You guys really, really did a great job with this film and connected to us in so many ways. Thank so thank you, you guys. Thank you. For, for thank you. The hill Appreciate and, it. And I can't wait for audience to watch. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Have a good one.